G'day guys, how you doing? And today I want to talk about picking the best light frames for your deep space astrophotos. Now, through my experiences, sometimes I've had issues where my tracking hasn't quite um, tracked as well as, uh, as what two or three frames before that have. Or there might be a little bit of um, cloud cover that you can't really see too well with your eyes, but it's affected the um, quality of your stars. So by picking the best um, light frames for stacking, you're going to end up with the best image. All right. And I want to show you guys just how I do that with PixInsight. So let's jump on the computer and I'll show you exactly how. With PixInsight all loaded up, I am going to head to Script, Batch Processing and Subframe Selector. And this is the area here and where we're going to start um, picking the best frames. So just go come over to here to add files and I'm just going to add uh, 10 frames, click open and here they are. Now the next thing we want to do is just click measure and PixInsight will run its script to uh, start working out which images um, I'd like to reject and which images I'd like to keep. So I'll come back to these in a minute. Alright, so it's just finished running its script. Now what I want to do is just minimize this table because to me that just doesn't mean much. Um, I like to uh, work off this plots. So we'll just expand that and here we've got our full width half maximum. Now it's up to you on um, how strict you want to be with your uh, images but for me I'm um, fairly laid back. So all I'm going to do is just remove these two here just by clicking on them and then you get an X. So now I've got eight approved out of 10. All right, so these are the ones here I'm going to approve and these two here are the ones I'm going to reject. All right, so now I'm just going to minimize that and open up output, okay? And here is where we're going to be outputting all those files to. So I like to create another folder called best lights and just select that to uh, put all my images in ready to stack. All right, so once you've selected your folder, just by clicking here and uh, selecting the, uh, for me, best lights, select that folder. Then we want to output subframes. Okay, and now it's just going to be outputting all those um, ones that we've approved. And now we're done. All right, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed that uh, video on how I pick the best frames to then go on and stack. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know if there's other any other videos you'd like me to maybe look at making in the future. Um, also, let me know in the comments below. And if you uh, haven't yet subscribed, please do. Well then, that's it for me tonight, guys. So uh, take it easy. See ya.